light the hell up. This is not a drill. We have a new trailer for Wheel of Time Season 2. Let me rant and ramble about it. Now, if you're new here, there will not be uh, major book spoilers or anything like that. Spoilers in general, because I am not a book person. I'm really just following the show for right now. Um, and so we're going to talk about what we see in this trailer, why I'm excited. Let's get into it. So, you know, this trailer starts out with Moraine talking. I mean, this entire trailer, Moraine was just giving warnings. <laughs> I was just like, girl, damn, calm down. Damn, girl, we understand. The dark one, the dark one, damn, girl. Like, <laughs> Moraine said, everyone has a choice. Every choice has a consequence. We understand. Thank you, girl. Moraine looking good as hell in this blue. We see the white tower of the Aes Sedai. The girls will be training here. Um, I can't wait to see, to like dive deeper into like the culture and society of the Aes Sedai um, and all of that. But I also can't wait to see the girls uh, tap into their power, just to tap into the one power. Stop playing with me. Like for real, for real. Like I can't wait to watch them train for real, right? So Moraine then says, we didn't defeat the Dark One. We set him free. We saw that last season when that shit cracked, that stone cracked. And she was like, girl, this shit's not supposed to crack, girl. He coming out. <laughs> you remember that shit? Uh, where Rand and Moraine was around each other. They was fighting with like, I guess a messenger of the Dark One or whatever the fuck that guy was. You know what I'm talking about. Rand is looking good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know. This show, apparently you had to be fine as hell to even audition to this bitch. <laughs> Oh my God, Rand is so fine. Anyway, he's staring out, standing out, looking for me, I'm sure, whatever. Let's move on to a queen. Let's move on to Equine. She's using the one power here. Oh, and also speaking of another queen, we see the red Aja Leandrin. She over here being messy as usual. Look at this wig, honey. Look at this wig. Ha ha. Leandrin, Leandrin gonna be a problem as usual. As, you know what I mean? She's gonna be disturbing the fucking peace. <laughs> Then Nynaeve said no one should have that much power. In the trailer, that's what she said. No one should have this much power. I'm like, girl, guess what? Guess what I'm not going to do when I... If I can detect that I can use the one power better than everybody else on the motherfucker or a lot of other people on the planet, I'm going to be like, bitch, I should have this power. Now, you bitch, just sit down and bend the knee. That's it, girl. She's talking about nobody should have this power. <laughs> anyway, whatever. She was just like, obviously, the power is a great uh, responsibility or just being able to tap into that much of the one power is of course a weight to weight to carry it's a responsibility like i said but also it can be fucking dangerous as we saw when my girls was joining hands together and fighting off um that one army with all the lightning and shit y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about okay so we see this evil motherfucker channeling here um and also okay okay here 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 so this is not a major spoiler or book spoiler or anything i'm gonna give you the character's name here though um, but I was told by someone who read the books that this character's name is Lanfear. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the person told me that this, all I need to know is that this character is a bad bitch and that, uh, they're one of their favorite villains in the story. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what that means and who this person, um, is. We see the slaves here or the Damani from the Sean Chan. They're channeling here. The channeling looks like they've been polishing up that CGI a little bit. I kind of, I'm here for it. You know, because even this evil motherfucker here, the, the channel and shit, the, the powers looks good. Okay. Um, okay, Nynaeve here says, together we faced the impossible, but now we are in our separate corners of the world. Um, here, I think she's training or she's at one of the tests that she has to take. Um, I just, I don't know. I can't wait till we see these girls ripping these people's heads off. Like, girl, you know what I mean? Like, figuratively speaking, of course. You know what I mean? Like, I can't wait to see them really get into the what power because I remember when I first got into the first episode of Wheel of Time for the first time. And I was just like, seeing Egwene, see, seeing see Moraine, um, zap them bitches up, zap them trolls up. Like, I got my life. <laughs> I got my life. I just love seeing the what power get into it. So, oh, here go my husband. Here go my husband, here go my husband. This is my husband, y'all. This is my husband. Everybody say hello to Perrin. Hey, boo. Riding his horse. Ye to the fucking hall, daddy. Like, for real, I'm not playing with y'all. Who this man is so fine to me. And he's so, he's so sad. Oh, come here, I'ma cheer you up, baby. I'ma cheer you up. Oh, uh, Rand, who is this woman? <laughs> Rand in this damn buzz cut, girl. Who is this woman? Uh, Moraine says, protecting Rand, guiding him. That's the only thing that matters. I'm like, Moraine, she's, she's, 
throughout like if you really take a look the reason why it's so funny to me because if you take a look at all the lines that moraine has said in the trailer it's nothing but warnings it's nothing but like oh y'all y'all think i'm playing but bitch i'm serious like these girls it, it's nothing to play with girl like the dark was coming like and i'm just like thank you so much moraine like <laughs> she, she's really telling the girls that they are not safe it, even if they think they are they're not everybody raise your get get to your motherfucker stand to your motherfucker feet stand to your feet for the emerald sea get into it get stand to your feet for the emerald sea she's here she's looking good you know skin moisturized you know what i mean she's looking good <laughs> she says you can't control him she's talk i think she's talking to moraine about rand um then we see Rand channeling here. Uh, I wonder how this is gonna work because men, obviously, we know they're not supposed to be channeling they, or else they'll go mad. Um, but I love how the one power manifests here. It seems like something's going on with it, like dark blotches in it, I think. And this yellow tint on it, I wonder if that means anything. Like what that, what does that mean? Cause I think the Damani also had like this yellowish tint to their things. I don't know, I don't know if it means anything, but it definitely is a clear difference or we see, we have this, I don't think we've seen anything like this in um, season one, right? Um, then there was a shot of Rand choking out Moraine and it makes a lot of sense considering the Emerald and Seat just said, you, you can't control him or whatever, like thematically putting that there. Um, Matt is hair child. If you can find somebody, find me somebody who cares about Matt's character. Um, I'm sure somebody cares, but it's just not me. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm being real. So Rand is sitting here with the gelded Loghain. So Loghain got his, Loghain got chopped by the Aes Sedai. And he's here rand is here asking logan how he could fucking control the one power so i'm just like oh girl but that's not i mean <laughs> i'm like i don't know how i feel about this i don't know how i feel about this um one of my friends said that this was a storyline coming from later on in the books but that they're glad that they moved it up um to this season so i don't know but i, I think this is a very interesting turn of events i was not i don't know why i, I just was not expecting Rand to be over here talking to fucking low game but um i wonder what's gonna come of that then I, okay i love how we see these images of the sean chan they're gonna fuck everybody day up they're gonna fuck everybody plot up i already know it um <laughs> this leader uh here says the whole world will be ours and if you want to know a tad bit more information on who the Sean Chan are and what they want, just check the link in my description for my other Wheel of Time video. It doesn't really have any major book spoilers because, you know, again, I haven't read the books at all. But in that video, I do at least explain where the Sean Chan come from. You know, the ones who rolled up at the end of season one on the ships. They made that big ass tidal wave, you know, and that girl was standing there. You know what I'm talking about um so yeah i do at least in that video explain uh where they come from and what they want i think this is an image of uh the demani slaves channeling powers looking good as hell moraine and the emerald seat they making out they kissing they french kissing this is exactly the kind of queer homosexual homosexuality i want to see homosexual <laughs> apparently bigots are over there calling it woke of time apparently and i love that <laughs> i love that yes we are woke of time and we're gonna get our lives to it and we're gonna watch moraine make out with the fucking emerald seat even though she's not supposed y'all not supposed to be doing this shit what happened to the fucking pack what's t what's going on i mean y'all ain't even supposed to be doing this shit without the pack bitch but then you moraine you made a pack to stay the fuck away from the fucking tower it's just like girl what's going on what's happening what's happening what's happening either way i love to fucking see it i love to see it then moraine gives yet another warning saying you have no conception of the power they wield <laughs> it's like damn moraine i think she was talking to land like, damn, girl. Like, okay, everybody, y'all need to get... <laughs> take y'all asses to the bunkers in single file line because Moraine is out here freaking out. <laughs> okay. Then I think we see Avienda, I think. But the Aiel people, uh, desert people, they love using spears. I also talked about them in um, the video in my description box. So check that out. Then we go to the Red Aja again. Leandrin saying, and she's saying this. It's not always the powerful who write history. It's the ones who survive. 
Um, then Rand is over here talking to Emerald Seat, saying, I'm tired of being a spoke in the wheel. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. I'm tired of this, Grandma. And Grandma said, well, that's too damn bad. She says, you're not a spoke, boy. You are the water that turns the wheel itself. So what is Rand going to do with all this power? What decisions is he going to make? Um, who is he going to fuck over? Is he going to, you know, grow this hair out from a buzz cut to look more like Loghain, like a, um, you know what I mean? A white Jesus. Like, what is, <laughs> what is he? What is Rand up? What is Rand up to? What is one Rand doing? What is Nynaeve, Nynaeve gonna be tugging on that braid? What's going on with Egwene? Perrin is my husband. You know him. What's going on with them fucking wolves? Bitch, we at September first. September first. We are prepared, and so is my wig. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I will catch y'all later, y'all. Peace.